Welcome to Mr. Kennedy's virtual lessons today and we are going to be talking about how to classify numbers based on a number of factors they have. So join me and let's find out how we can do that. When we classify numbers based on factors there are two terms that we use here and these two terms are prime numbers prime numbers, we're going to use shorthand, and composite numbers. So you know it's a prime number or a composite number. Now, these are the two classifications. It's sort of like in geometry we have squares, rectangles, and they base that off, say, the number of sides or other rules and stipulations with it. When we're looking at factors, we have our two classification of prime and composite. And we're going to start off with the larger of the two. So we're going to start off with composite numbers. So composite numbers and these are by definition whole numbers greater than one that have more than two factors. So they have more than two factors. Whole numbers greater than one that have more than two factors. Examples of composite number, there are actually a lot of them. In fact, composite numbers are majority of whole numbers majority in meaning most of them. The majority of whole numbers. Examples are 10. Because we know 10, if we do the factor rainbow, we can see that 10 has 1 and 10 as factors. 2 and 5 as factors. 1 and 10, 2 and 5. That's 4 factors, so we know that it only has, so we know it has 4 factors, so it has more than 2 factors, making it a composite number. Another example would be 15. It has 1 and 10. and 3 and 5. Once again, more than two factors, thus it is composite. And for the last example, we are going to look at 32, which has 1 and 32. Two and 16 and then we also have to look at does it have 3? no it does not does it have 4? yes it does 4 and 8 
Put that extra comma there. So 32 has, looking at it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 factors. 15 had 4 factors. 10 had 4 factors. It doesn't matter how many as long as it's more than 2 factors. It's the important part. More than 2 factors makes it composite. All right? And let's go on to prime. Prime numbers are whole numbers greater than 1. We still want to focus on that. Greater than 1. That have exactly two factors. That's that key part right there. Exactly two factors. So examples of these is the number two. The only factors for number two are one in itself. In fact, that's the key thing. It's always going to be, there's exactly two factors are always going to be one and itself. Look at five, it is one and itself. Two does not work, three does not work, four does not work. Look at 11. It is just one and itself. There is nothing else. Continuing, 13. That is one and itself. Two will not work, three will not work, four will not work, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. None of those will work. None of those are a factor of 13. So you can see a prime number has exactly two factors. And that's it for it. So thank you for joining me today. Hopefully this gave you a little bit of insight, just a reminder on what composite and prime factors or composite and prime numbers are. And hopefully that will help you identify in the future and how to use them for other math ways. And there's my alarm letting me know that it's time to finish getting ready. Have a good day.